HR pros have a lot on their plates and dates are just one of the many responsibilities you can't afford to miss. That's why this year I've decided to begin each month with an HR FAQ devoted to important dates, holidays, and compliance deadlines for that month. So what key dates in January does HR need to know? Let's get started. Here's a preview of upcoming dates, which we'll explain more in a moment. January 17th, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. January 28th, Data Privacy Day. January 31st, Forms W-2 and 1099 distribution and filing deadlines, paper and e-file. January 31st, Quarterly Form 720 and 941 due. January 31st, Annual Form 940 due if quarterly FUTA taxes were not paid when due. I'll link to the official forms in the description. Now, let's take a look at what some of these dates are referring to. What is Martin Luther King Jr. Day? Martin Luther King Jr. Day is a federal holiday acknowledging the achievements of influential civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. It is celebrated annually on the third Monday in January. While it isn't required to offer MLK Day off, according to Bloomberg, 45% of U.S. employers give employees a paid day off anyway. What is Data Privacy Day? Data Privacy Day is an international event focused on promoting data privacy and protection best practices for individuals, businesses, and governments. It is celebrated annually on January 28th. Your company can participate by encouraging data security measures, such as changing passwords, reminding employees about email security, or hosting data security training. What is Form W-2? Form W-2 is an IRS reporting document that details how much an employee was paid for the year, including the amount of taxes withheld, such as federal and state income, Social Security, and Medicare taxes. The official IRS form includes six copies, depending on who should receive the copy. Every employer must file a Form W-2 for each employee from whom taxes were withheld in the previous year. The deadline for filing with the Social Security Administration and for distributing to employees is the same, January 31st. If you'd like to know more, I'll link to some helpful Bernie Portal resources on W-2s in the description. What is Form 1099? Form 1099 refers to several IRS reporting documents that detail how much non-employment income an individual earned. Non-employment income could include interest from savings account, dividends from stocks, and any compensation over $600 for contract or freelance work. Essentially, 1099s keep track of any income that is not included in a W-2. There are about 20 types of 1099 forms, depending on the source of income, and even a catch-all 1099 MISC for any earnings that do not fit into one of the other 1099 form categories. The filing and distribution details vary by the form. For more information, see the IRS's comprehensive instructions, which I'll link in the description. Businesses most commonly use Form 1099-NEC, which is for reporting payments over $600 to independent contractors or freelancers. The deadline for distributing 1099-NECs to contractors and filing with the IRS is January 31st. Note, individuals are responsible for paying taxes owed on any income, regardless of whether or not they receive a 1099. What is Form 720? Form 720 is an IRS reporting document that details the amount of a business's goods and services that are subject to federal excise taxes. The list of taxable goods and services is extensive and generally related to products or services that are considered harmful to people or the environment, such as alcohol, gambling, firearms, gasoline, tobacco, and even tanning beds. The full list can be found in the form instructions, which I'll link in the description. Businesses that are required to file Form 720 with the IRS must do so on a quarterly basis. For example, Form 720 is due by January 31st for taxable goods and services sold in Q4 of the previous year. What is Form 941? Form 941 is a quarterly federal tax return for employers that include the amount of income, Social Security, and Medicare taxes that an employer withheld from its employees' paychecks in the previous quarter. Employers must file Form 941 on a quarterly basis. For example, Form 941 is due by January 31st for taxes withheld in Q4 of the previous year. If you'd like to know more, I'll link to some helpful Bernie Portal resources in the description. 
What is Form 940? Form 940 is the annual tax return used by employers to comply with the Federal Unemployment Tax Act, or FUTA. On the form, employers report the difference between unemployment taxes owed the previous year and how much they have already paid. Form 940 must be filed by January 31st if quarterly FUTA taxes were not paid when due. If you'd like to learn more, I'll link to some helpful Bernie Portal resources in the description. What does HR need to look forward to in February? Since it's helpful to know some dates before the month begins, I want to mention that on February 1st, employers need to post the OSHA Form 300A summary and leave it posted till April 30th. Form 300A is an OSHA document that provides an overview of work-related injury and illness incidents for businesses with 10 or more employees, unless otherwise exempted in the previous year. If you'd like to know more, I'll link to a helpful Bernie Portal article in the description. I'll cover OSHA Form 300A and more February dates to know in more detail in the next month's episode. But until then, check out Bernie Portal's downloadable HR Calendar 2022. You may also be interested in Bernie U's recent course, HR Prep 2022, and our latest course, Intro to Forms 1094C and 1095C, which will launch this Friday, January 7th. All of Bernie U's continuing education courses are free and approved for SHRM and HRCI recertification credit. You can register for both courses using the link in the description. That's it for this HR FAQ. If you want to learn more HR best practices, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notifications about the latest HR Party of One and HR FAQ episodes. As always, thanks for watching.